Welcome back to Your Questions Answered. We've settled on that, haven't we? Are we, yeah. are we happy with that? Yeah. Unless anyone else has got a different name. Uh, this one will clear up, actually. We're getting loads and loads of questions about dates and stuff. Um, these episodes have got moving forward. In the past, we used to do previews. It was always teeing up the next month, so it was like April's launches, and we'll, we'll talk through them. These episodes now, we almost just can give you a rolling update on all the projects we're working on. So sometimes it won't be the following month that they're coming out. We just prefer just to keep you up to date. When we get new samples, we get excited. Yeah. We just want to share it. And I think just with how we worked last year with the timings and stuff, we just felt the episodes were a bit more engaging and a bit more informative to actually just show everything we're working on. So sometimes they won't actually be the following month. It might be a couple of months down the line, sometimes even the next season. But It'll be within the ballpark, won't it? Yeah, yeah. I mean, we just we just get excited, don't we? Can't yeah. hold our water, can we? As the saying goes, <laughs> well, <it>? you can. <laughs> okay, have you ever done a food-related shoe? If not, what food would you choose? And on what shoe? It's got to be a fried chicken shoe, on it? Has <laughs> it? I just love fried chicken. So, so what shoe would it be? I mean, I'm, I'm a massive fan of New York. I'd probably do uh, fried chicken on a uh, Adidas New York. I would do, so I'm from Grimsby, as you, you may or may not know, the, the home of fish and chips. Yeah. Probably Mark Lewis is the most iconic for me, or Steele's, but Mark is probably the one. But Mark Lewis got this amazing colour signage out front. They've got the, the text in red, and this amazing sort of emerald, greeny, bluey, turquoisey colour. Yeah. And it'd be amazing colour just to do it on a, a city shoe. You know what, I like, I like you thinking on that one though, but I mean, I, obviously I, lo I love my hometown, Wigan, I talk about it a lot, but I can't really see us me basing a shoe on a pie shop, I mean, that's what we're famous for. Um, any chance of another Create Your Own Trim Style competition? Yes. So, we did the one last year, Mark Evans won, and that shoe will be coming out this year, hopefully around September. We're actually looking to do a physical, we say physical loosely, because we really hope so, a physical event sometime within the next sort of within the next quarter i'd say we're planning it now the dream would be to get a physical event where we can get all the community together to actually do something um in person if not we'll still be doing a digital element to it but yeah the, the goal would be to do another competition this year but an event we can all do together so yeah sit tight on that one but but there'll definitely be one coming this year and obviously that shoe will launch next year with the yearbook and everything that we get this year the, i don't know if this guy's had a tip off because he's asking if there's any chance that Puma Arizona, have we mentioned Arizona from Puma coming? Did Puma Arizona come in this year? Could well be. Yeah. I think we've already given enough away from Puma side of things. We're trying to keep some some things in the you know, Yeah, but I don't know, they must have had a tip off. A chest, yeah. But yeah, maybe. So we, I, I feel bad because this is a question I think we've had three or four times we've not answered it and it's asking around a, a size doing a gel light three. We're, we're not doing a gel light three, obviously, we, I love Jet Light 3, you, you were, were massive fans of Asics brand. We're not doing Jet Light 3, there's nothing planned in. However, we have got lots of exciting projects coming up uh, with Asics. Not necessarily from an exclusive side, but lots and lots of really, really good, strong new products. Within that um, retro space, so archive bringbacks, but also within that trail space, a bit more techie. We're obviously seeing the likes of Kiko's design language start to come through in a lot of the inline projects. And for me, I'm a massive fan of his. Uh, his way of, uh, we were talking about it yesterday. Yeah. I'd love to know what Kiko's thought process is of how he puts colours together. They shouldn't work. They shouldn't work, but well, they, they do. Work. He, yeah. he cannot miss when it comes to colour and design, yeah. but I don't know how he does it. Like when I, I try and dissect the shoe and I'm trying to think. How how is he, how is he thought of them yeah. to put them colours together? Because, I mean, we, we don't always think that way, do we? It's always a bit more difficult. It's almost like he just. I don't know, he has like, I'd say he's got like, like a wheel or something I'd, and he just yeah. bangs them together. I don't, I'd, lo I'd love to know. I think it's, me it's mental, but they all look so good. Yeah, they, they look amazing. We, 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 um, do you remember when we, um, the last ASICs kind of collabs that we did, first ones we did together? I do. Japanese baseball. It was, yeah. 36 views. Yeah. Two great ones. Yeah, there was, there was the, the, the tr trilogy. The trilogy, yeah. Thanks for watching. Uh, like we said earlier in the episode, always keep an eye on the size launches out for any updates on launch dates or projects coming through. That's your first protocol always on that information. Not necessarily us answering it because sometimes it might shift. That's the most up to date. Thanks again for watching. Let us know your thoughts and feedback in the comments. We'll try and answer it next month and we'll see you next time.